Hey, honey, I'm back. Not in the best mood, though, considering this. Can you guess what this is? Of course not, but this is supposed to be my armor. <sighs> All right, let me explain what happened. So I take the tail to the troll mines, expecting them to charge quite a bit of money, so I was hauling an ass load of gold with me. So I come in with the dragon tail. Oh, by the way, I was expecting I was going to have to leave the dragon tail outside, go in the cave, bring the blacksmith outside, and he'd make the dragon tail into armor. Turns out it wasn't a cave as much as an endless abyss with an impossibly huge yawning to it. I swear, you could put New York City on its side and it would still fit in the cave with plenty of space to move around. The ceiling of that cave was probably thousands of miles above me when I got in there. I asked the trolls about it, and they said the most cramped parts of the cave had a whole circumference of about 5,350 miles. It was insane. And I asked a lot of them, and they even showed me their expedition books, and it was that same estimate. Anyway, I bring the tail into the cave, and immediately the guards at the entrance say I have to bring it through customs before I can take it in there. But then I say I have to get to the blacksmith, and they look at me like I'm crazy. I explain to them that I'm taking the dragon tail to the blacksmith when they give me this weird look and say, um, ma'am, the blacksmith is outside the entrance to the cave. So I have to go back to the entrance lugging this tail with me, and when I finally get there, I get to the blacksmith, and it turns out to be these twins. And at first I'm wondering, oh, which one is the greatest blacksmith? So I ask them both, which one of you is the world's greatest blacksmith? Then they both just say yes, so I'm thinking, okay, maybe they're a duo. One holds the anvil and the other holds the hammer, and they just smash whatever they're forging between them. That makes sense, right? I don't know how blacksmithing works. But anyway, I tell them I want these dragon scales to be made into the greatest armor in the world, and they say, okay, it'll be ten gold pieces. So obviously I think, what a deal, I guess it's a work of passion for them. So I give them the money, and they say, give us a day, we have to get the materials and forge it. Here's a tourism pamphlet for the cave. So I decide to give them the time and explore. Turns out it's a pretty interesting place to. They have the cave set up, so most of the architecture is built right into the cave. It was nuts. They had these buildings that were hanging from the ceiling like stalactites, where you have to take a lift up there, and you could go between the buildings on these bridges. They had some hotels, so I decided to stay up there for the night. Terrible idea, by the way. I spent most of the night worried the whole hotel would collapse. It's kind of like being in those buildings with the glass floors where you can see the street underneath your feet, but infinitely more terrifying considering how this was higher up than any building could ever be. When I checked out, I wanted to get back to the ground so I would be able to get rid of my vertigo. They kept telling me how safe it was, and they haven't had an incident in millennia, but I didn't care. I just wanted to get back down there as fast as possible. Then they tell me there is an easy way to get down as fast as possible, I take them up on that, and they threw me off the bridge. So I'm in this panic during the freefall, but then another person jumps down to join me, and they grab onto me before revealing they have levitation magic. So I have them let me down to the ground, and they say, Had you going for a second there, didn't we? And I immediately punched them so hard it broke their nose. Before the guards could come arrest me, though, I ran back out of the cave to the blacksmiths. I go there, and I see this guy who says, Oh yeah, you're that lady who wanted better armor, right? Well, the twins said they finished it for you. Then they hand me this and a picture of an anvil. So obviously I start yelling at the guy because, you know, just look at it. It's just a couple of the dragon scales with a bunch of iron and copper melted onto the sides. This is not the greatest armor in the world. It's not even armor. Armor is supposed to be attached together. This is... <sighs> I don't know what those twins were thinking. And what does the paper mean? Wait, why'd you grab that from me? Where are you going? Wait, is this another blacksmith shop just across the road? How did I not notice this? Well, even if they're a blacksmith, I doubt they're able to help out. Who said I wouldn't be able to help out? Um, I did. Sorry, miss. Uh, the quiet one brought a friend. The name's Ambie. 
I'm a blacksmith around these parts. Let me take a look at whatever it is you think I can't help with. Oh, you're trying to do an armor quest, huh? What's an armor quest? Wait, did you come from those dimwits over at the cave? Did they give you that? I swear those two prats are always trying to throw a spanner in the works, while the rest of us are just trying to send people on these armor quests. I'm gonna need to have a talk with them. Alright, let's get this quest sorted. Why don't we start with your names? Well, my name is Greta, and I don't know what my friend's name is since he doesn't talk. I've just been calling him Honey ever since we met. I asked him to write it down, but he just shakes his head. It's been a bit of a headache trying to figure this guy out. Most of his communication is through shaking or nodding his head. Damn, so this bag of bones won't talk to an established adventurer such as yourself any more than this, humble blacksmith? I'm guessing the other two didn't explain how blacksmiths work. Well, in that case, let me explain the brilliant blacksmiths guild. You see, each blacksmith has their own anvil that works with a different metal. You went to the blacksmiths that only used copper and iron. But, when you're trying to make armor out of dragon scales, the copper is an unnecessary decoration, and the iron is just used to attach the other metals to the scales. I myself? Use the tungsten. Uh, here. Let me see the current armor. And I'll attach the dragon scales in a jiffy. Um, okay. Here. Brilliant. Here you go. Wait, but I just gave you the armor. Don't you need to attach your tungsten? Tungsten doesn't work especially well with dragon scales. It's just that tungsten is particularly flexible. I've always hated those pricks. But you took them away from here, so people are coming back to me to use my sweet, sweet tungsten. You know, let me just tell you about tungsten real quick. Tungsten is the most useful material on the planet. You can keep drilling and drilling with it and it can survive anything. We use it with armor, with swords, with tools, anything you can think of, it's probably better off with tungsten. And I'm not just saying that, I use it for everything I do. Last night, I used tungsten silverware with tungsten plates to eat my dinner, before taking a tungsten bath and going to bed on my tungsten mattress in my tungsten house. Oh yeah, I was wondering why that weird metal house was able to survive the fires. Yeah, I didn't know the fires happened. My tungsten can survive anything and keeps me safe no matter what. It truly really is the finest material in all existence. Anyway, here's a map of all the greatest blacksmiths in the world. Wait, when did you make that? Oh, this? I made it while I was talking about the glory of tungsten. You must have been too entranced to notice. The honey never says a word, of course, so he's obviously not going to point that out. Bit of a useless chap, ain't he? I don't know. He has a few redeeming qualities. Honey is one hell of a craftsman. What? Like me? Not really. He's more of a carpenter than a blacksmith. Oh, so that's what the list of stuff was for. Don't know what the copper's for, but I'm sure the iron is for nails and such. I'm just gonna assume we got all that from the gruesome twosome back at the cave. Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to go back, aren't I? <laughs> no worries. I can have them send plenty of supplies over here. Having a shop in the middle of a field of ash is a bit of a downer, so I can have them send all of the ironworks. I owe you anyway. A bunch of rotting dragon's meat was stinking up the place. Oh, yeah, that must be why I haven't seen you until now. You were trying to avoid the smell. No, I've seen you around. You're just not very observant. Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Probably for the best anyway. Most blacksmiths hate talking to people, and that includes me. Take care. Thanks. I'll get going. Does she not have teleportation spells on her? Oh yeah, roleplay with ambiguous. Crossover hype mode. You can't see it, but I'm raising the roof.